a movie based on a comic book? That's ridiculous! <laughs>
Well, he, didn't, he, he doesn't actually say to go back to New York. Yeah, because she fucking called him out. She was like, I think I'm going to miss that fight. Yeah, she called him out on his bullshit, and he's working with, like, the yeah. FBI to, like, hide evidence of, like, the Zero Matter and stuff. Uh, and then at the end of the episode, Whitney absorbs a guy. Yeah. See, when, when, when he, he absorbs When he was, like, making Capacitor, I had a flashback to last week when I was, like, that's what Agent Carter needs, more rape. And I thought, holy shit, did I just predict, like, Whitney getting raped on Agent Carter? But I'm glad that didn't happen because rape is not cool. <laughs> it's not. And save that, save that dark shit for Jessica Jones because it works there and Agent Carter is all, like... Oh, God. Anyway, so this was... This is a good episode. It was a good episode. Funny. Funny. There, uh-huh. were, there, there were a lot of funny lines in here. Um. Um. I. Th- my. Fa- yeah. My favorite is the fucking. You know. A movie based on a comic book. That's preposterous. Uh, I like the. I don't plan to spend the rest <laughs> of my life in this movie. Uh, that that went over my head at first, but then like yeah. later I was like, oh shit, because he's Jarvis. <laughs> <laughs> two and two equals four. Oh uh, god. And um. Oh, and uh, turns out, I forgot to mention this, but turns out Whitney is actually like a scientist. And Whit- Whitney's not even a real name. It's like, yeah. it's like Agnes Cully. They figure out more about who she is. Yeah, in terms of she's actually pretty much, we already kind of knew this, but she's pretty much the brains behind Isodon. Yeah. Uh, we already kinda, we, got. we already kind of knew that. They just um, kind of spelled it out for us now. The scene where Peggy is breaking into the. The, the, the Arena Club? Yeah. That's the best because fucking Howard is like Howard he, just comes in and he's like, with like 30 You know what this is missing? Chicks. Like 30, like, 30, 30 and like chicks. A flood of like 30 And in like, that, that confusion in. Peggy manages to and like sneak Peggy in. just like sneaks in and like it's, 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 it's an awesome scene. <laughs> oh I'm sorry I get, I get so confused around books. <laughs> <laughs> Peggy is really good at acting like a dumb bimbo. I love when she gets the American accent. Yeah, I'm like, it's so weird. I'm like that is weird. Like, okay, You're really fucking good at that. Sometimes when British actors put on American accents, like like when, like when David Tennant does it, she's all like, like British and stuff, and then like yeah. she's just like, oh, I'm sorry, I get really confused around books. Like it's not it's like, like it's, not, it's not distracting. It's like really natural. Yeah. Like, or like like David Tennant's good in American American accent, but when he speaks in an American accent, it's kind of distracting because I'm like, you're supposed to be British. What are he's supposed to be Scottish? So like, why aren't you like not American? So like, it's just weird. But like when yeah. Carter does it, like it's like super like holy shit. Yeah, she's a spy. Um, and there are some good like uh, like uh, emotional moments between yeah. like Peggy and and Wilkes is his name. Yeah, yeah. Wilkes. Like, cause like at the end she's like, you managed to do one thing that no one's done in a very long time. You've impressed Howard Stark. And you've impressed me, and I'm like, oh, yeah, fuck. Oh, wait, you can't, because you're not tangible. Because he's a ghost. Damn it. <laughs> uh, yeah, um... I don't know, what else? Uh, don't, this isn't really... Like, bully, this, bully, bully, this isn't really... Bully, 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 bully. I'm sorry. This, this isn't really a good jackass. <laughs> this isn't really a good thing or a bad thing, but, like, I wonder if, like, what's going on with Whitney is if this, this is going to be how she becomes Madam Mask, because in the comics mm. she can, like, shapeshift like a mask. And I was waiting at the end, after she absorbs the guy, to look, look in the mirror and then transform into him. Yeah. So I wonder... I don't know how... Well, her, like, scar thing on her forehead Yeah, her is scar thing uh, is getting bigger. So I wonder if she's, um, like, gonna put on a mask at one point. But, like, I wonder if, like, that's how she gets the shapeshifting this, is because she absorbs people and then she can turn it into them. No, I'm sure it's not how, like, Zero Matter I'm works. Not, I'm not but, sure how, like... I'm a little confused on how Zero Matter Yeah, works. Zero Matter is kind of like confusing. I feel because, like, like, they, like, let's just move into Kong, because like, I okay. feel like they haven't, like... They haven't explained it. Explained or, like, yeah. set up From Zero Matter. From what I understand, like, it's... At first, it gave this guy freezing power. It gave, like, three people freezing powers. From what I understand, it's some, like, mystical energy that's going to tie into Doctor Strange. Yeah, um, which is fine, but, like, the first three people that were infected all got, like, freezing powers. Yeah. And which, hit, that, which that I can kind of understand because it's so cold that like yeah. it makes everybody else around them cold. Yeah. Um, um, but it, like, now absorbs all the energy. But then it can like. Cold. But then it can like make Wilkes a ghost. And then it just makes Wilkes a ghost. And, and it, then and it, 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 makes it infects Whitney and makes her thing? absorb. Yeah, the thing pretty much. <laughs> the thing. Not the Marvel uh, thing. The John. The John Carpenter. The John thing. Carpenter thing. But like. Uh, so, like, I don't know, I kind of want more, like, how exactly yeah. this works, because I'm like, I don't um, get it. 
I'm assuming, um, I'm assuming what they may be doing is not explaining it a whole lot because in the 1940s they don't really understand a whole lot about like, yeah, like yeah. and we'll probably get, if this is gonna play, I don't know how big of a role this is gonna play in Doctor Strange, but, um, I'm assuming if it does play a substantial role, we'll get more information there. Yeah, I just want like yeah, I want just the same thing. It, like, it's kind of like they just pull things out of a hat. Yeah. And it's like, oh, this is what Zero Matter can do now. I'm a little worried that because like I, I'm getting vibes from like I'm getting Fantastic Four flashbacks from yeah. this. Yeah. Because like the result of the explosion just gives the Invisible Woman her invisibility. I'm talking about the new movie yeah. Fantastic Four. Just like it explodes and all of a sudden she's invisible, and now this thing explodes and all of a sudden Wilkes is invisible. I'm like. Eh, maybe we need some more explanation on how that works. Well, let's um, just be glad that Carter's not telling anyone that she's an adult and she can do whatever she wants. <laughs> oh, God. God, we, we hated that Fantastic oh, Four Jesus. movie. Um, this is a much better powerful property. Another thing I wanted to point out is, like, a, uh, one thing that kind of bugged me was, like, we still have, apparently we still have Dottie, like, in prison over in New York. Yeah, Europe. and... And it's like, have we just forgotten that that's a thing? I want more Dottie! I like, want one more of, Dottie! One of the major antagonists from season one is just, like, sitting around, chilling in New York, yeah, and, and they, like, nobody's talking about it. And then it. they mention her a few times, but they yeah. don't actually they do anything. They're just like, you, like, is, is she done rearranging your furniture? <laughs> don't, touch, don't touch me. Because she knocked the table into Don't touch me. me. And it's, but it's like, so it's like, are we gonna ever get back to that? Because she has something to do with yeah. this. She had the arena club fucking pin. Like, yeah. what's up with her? Uh, it, it isn't kind of weird that, like, Jack would go over here while this is going on. Yeah. Like, I get probably, like, the FBI set him over here to make sure that, like, Carter's not, like... Well, he's working with that one dude who's, like... Yeah, Red Hood. What? Fucking from that 70s show, Kurtwood Smith. I haven't seen that 70s show. The, the, the bald guy? I he's, hate that 70s he, show he's, so he's been much. in so much more than that 70s show. That 70s he show was, was uh, actually, like, I hate that show. He, he was the bad guy in RoboCop. He was uh, the new one or the old one. The I old haven't one. seen either the one. Old one. Okay, uh, he's been. <laughs> it doesn't so, matter. He, he's been in so much one. more than just that '70s show. But I guess what everybody knows him from. Mm -hmm. And when I first saw, it, I was like, "Holy shit, Kerwin Smith is in this show now!" But Jesus. Like, like he's working with it. I'm kind of like, why? <laughs> I think it's because he's like his mentor or something, and like. Do like do they know each other? Is he from season one? No, no, okay. no. He's a new character, but so like Jack knows him from his past. Because like, what you know, I understand. like, because she even points out like Jack does all this stuff because he wants medals and acclamation and shit. But like, yeah. this is a dude who's pretty blatantly like, you're not gonna get a medal for this. No one's ever gonna know. It's not gonna go in the history book. So like, why? I is think Jack I think he's this? kind of tempting him because in the last episode he was he was telling him like the SSR is not gonna be around forever. It's kind of a, a dying thing. So uh -huh. you might as well side with like the winners here. I think I think that's what he's yeah. going for because I think I feel like Jack, like you said, Jack is in for the medals, but he's also in it for the winning side. Mm -hmm. And I feel like he's signed I, with I him. Just like I feel like he's just kind of the person, the like go to like jackass, like the corrupt. You cop. just you're just you only exist to screw everything up. Yeah, like, uh, that's kind of what weird. it is. Yeah. Um, so whatever. And also like, I'm I'm sure this is mainly because of how available the actor is, but it seems like every season of this show they come up with some new excuse to not have Howard Stark there. Because like immediately in this episode, his first appearance in the in the show, end of the episode, he's like, I'm gonna go off to a different country and search like the scientist guy. Yeah. Like I'm like, you just got here. Last season is I'm on the run from the law. This season I'm going off like Borneo or something. Borneo. I don't remember where it is, but like I, I, I that's an actual place. Borneo is a country, you fucking dunce. Where? Where is Borneo? I don't know, but it's a place. That is the stupidest name for a country. You were gonna look super stupid. Borneo? Um, Borneo. You you talk while I look this up. I talk about something else you don't. Borneo. Like. Th that can't be an actual. You, place. you talk about other stuff while I look up Borneo because it is an actual place. It's one letter away from Borneo. What is? I don't know. Uh. I spelled it wrong, but. <laughs> yeah, it's an island. Borneo, like by. Okay, like, it's an island. It's not a country. Well, I was close. All right. Anyway, but like it just feels like, like I'm sure it's because like the actor he's got like a he's got a bigger name than the rest of the actors here. I'm sure it's because of his availability. But I'm just like, for a show set in like the 1940s with like Howard Stark is a big guy, like obviously we can't have like it's kind of like the same problem with like Age of the Shield. Is that like you can't have any of the, like big names here like Iron Man or Captain America or shit like that. But like with Agent Carter, like can we just have more Howard Stark because he's kind of the biggest name. Of this time period that we can't have, and I just kind of wish we had more of him. Yeah. This is this is me. Um. Also, I really want him to come back so that he can interact with Jarvis's wife. 
Because that would be fucking hilarious. By interact. I do not mean have sex, I mean talk. <laughs> she is a married woman, sir. Yeah? But I feel like they would hit it off like really well. I feel like she's the reason that Jarvis got hired. Is because he was like, uh, you're kind of stuffy, but your wife is a who, you're hired. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I think that does it. I think that does, does it. Do you have so, anything else to point out? I, I do not. Yeah, so, do, the, do, the, do the app. Tune in next week when Carter gets into some more mischief and, I don't know, more ghost whelks and Whitney absorbing people. Next time on the adventures of Agent Carter! What the fuck did I say about doing that? I'm gonna keep doing it! Stop! No! This is a freak- I'm a grown-up and I can do whatever I want!